So here we are at our wonderful trench. The concrete has hardened some overnight. But still, we have a long way to go. Nathan? What's that? What is up with only about uh, 15 of us being here? Only a small small group of people being here. No one likes to do the hard manual labor. We're known as the working class of our group. The other ones, well, <laughs> what are they, Rebecca? <laughs> um, I don't know. You're the one that came up with it. I didn't it. come up with it. Yeah. It was Jeff. He said they were just dead weight. Dead weight. So we, we are the working class. See, here's a couple of uh, examples of your dead weights right here. They don't like to use the tools to utilize them and have more productive manner. So they just, um, well, they just horse play around until one of them gets hurt. Andrew, on the other hand, he was playing horse playing around, and that's how he had that bum leg, aka dead weight. So there you have it. Get to work. Chad, what do you think of our wall? Uh, it's good. I kind of wish we'd have gotten a little more done, but what can you do? What can you do? No, this was like ten years ago. I think there were just too many girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I worked just as hard as the guy. Yeah, and I definitely did nothing today because I sat in the school and watched the students write letters. Yeah, I know. I thought around a lot today with that That's little girl. That's all I do. <laughs> and your comments today? Um, on I think this, it was on the a project. Good day. It was a lot hotter than the last couple of days, but that is still good. I couldn't even tell because I was inside. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think? How's our wall? Are you satisfied with our work this week? I'm pretty satisfied. We worked hard for what little resources we had. I was kind of looking forward to seeing it grow, but I guess other people finished it up for us. And you, ma'am. What, what do you think about this week? Our work project this week? Pretty good. Kind of backbreaking. Mostly for people other than me because I worked much more for kids than I did on the wall. But definitely worth it. Pretty cool. Can I have some comments? Hey. From you? Sure. Right here now? Yeah. Alright. So what do you think? Oh, I think, I think I'm tired. You're tired? But uh, it was a terrific day. Enjoyed it. And, uh, All the time. Right now I'm brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be enough. <laughs> you can shut it off now. Rush Smith. What, today, what is today? Today is the final day of our work project. We're going to go and shovel some more concrete. I hope we get some more rocks in the ditch. Foundation built for a later time when they're going to put the, the blocks, cement blocks on top, and the, later the chain link. It's going to be a good day. I think we're going to get, going to get a lot done. Really? Yeah, we did, we did a lot of work yesterday, and today I think we're going to get as much or a little more done. That's good. Off to the work site. map of Honduras. We'll point out a few key places here. Here's the capital Tegucigalpa. Here's La Villa San Antonio. Oconejo where we are, we are currently. Some other sites at San Jose, La Barca, Toyos, Shashuala, which is on the coast. Very nice and also about 20-25 uh, eh, miles from Guatemala over here. La Campaña, La Silla, Salama, and uh, there's some other Mission Honduras sites in Liberia, Africa, and the Dominican Republic. But just to put in perspective where we are with respect to everything else, the United States, of course, is up here in Mexico. Here's Belize. We're here, and about an hour and a half from the capital of Tegucigalpa.
We're rolling. Okay, great. The camera's rolling. Russell, there's something I must confess to you. These feelings that I've been harboring. Okay, maybe not that. Hmm. Oh, okay. I would like to get a written response from any Razorback that sees this tape or this film. And I'd like to know what percentage of Razorback fans would like to keep Houston Nutt as the head coach. Because I, I've, I've 11%. 100 percent. Okay, I categorically deny that percentage right there. That would almost be like saying 100 percent of the Americans want to keep the Nimrod in the White House. But after the way the Razorbacks played against Wisconsin in the Cotton Bowl, I figured that maybe a chimpanzee could do a better job at coaching the football team than Houston Nutt. No offense. I know. I hope none is. I hope none is taken. But I was very disappointed in. Um, in their effort against a Big Ten also ran. So, with that, I'm sorry, did I say Big Ten? It's Big Eleven now. No, that's, they're not actually in the Big Eleven. They're in, they're in the Big North. No, there's no such thing as the Big North. Wisconsin would be in the Southern Canadian Conference. No, I don't know. Kyle, is there a Southern Canadian Conference? I don't know. Maybe Maybe Arkansas would have had a better, better time of it if they were playing APB. I don't know. Who knows? So anyway, thank you very much for coming down to Honduras. And if you ever want, or if you ever want to know or see the definition of the word stud, just follow the camera. There he is, swinging in the hammock. Stud, S T H U E D, stud, or something like that. That's all. I love you, Houston. Good luck next year. It'll be your last year in favor. Passport, everybody. Passport, everybody. 